Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on ensemble learning in machine learning by IntelliPad. We are going to understand this concept with the help of real life example and this whole video is going to be very helpful if you want to get a high level of accuracy by using a little complex model structuring. The agenda that we are going to cover for this session is what is ensemble learning, how it actually works and the different types of ensemble learning. And by the end of this video, you will understand the complete concept of ensembles and how they will help you to do a better term of accuracy. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates like this. So guys, now let's start with the first topic on our agenda. What is ensemble learning? So before we dive into the technicalities of ensemble learning, let us first try to understand this with a simple example. He is Sam and while roaming in the forest near his house, he found a basket full of fruits. But he is a little bit confused and was unable to identify which fruit it was. Then he called three of his friends and asked them to identify which fruit it was. And rather than taking opinion only from one friend, he asked all of them to identify which fruit it was. And from those three friends, Two said that it was an apple and one said that it was an orange, right? And from the decisions that he got from his friends, now he can say that the fruits that were in the basket are apples because apples have got the majority votes, right? And that's how ensemble learning also works. It works on the majority of votes and through that majority votes that ensemble learning takes the predictions. Now let us dive into the technicalities of ensemble learning. So ensemble learning is nothing but it is a machine learning technique which combines multiple individual models to create a stronger and more accurate predictive model. And by leveraging the diverse strengths of different models, ensemble learning aims to mitigate errors, enhance performance and increase the overall robustness of predictions, which leads to improved results across various tasks in machine learning and data analysis. Now, let us try to understand how it actually works. So, it starts with the original training data set where we need to perform the ensemble learning. And after that, those training data sets get splitted into multiple subsets of data sets, which is then passed to n number of models. Like here, we can see that we have subset 1 data set which is passed to the first model then subset 2 data set which is passed to the second model after that we have subset 3 data set which is passed to the third model and like that it goes on till the nth model and once those model gets trained with their data sets then every model gives some output which gets stored here and voting or majority predictions will be done and with that we get our final prediction as the one with the majority predictions. Like here, if I say that our model 1 gives output 0, model 2 also gives us output 0, whereas model 3 gives us output 1, and so on till the model n. If I say another model is giving us output 0, then here we are getting the majority votings for 0. And our final ensemble learnings prediction would be zero according to the majority votes that we are getting for zero, right? And here, in this ensemble learning, all of these individual models are known as the weak learners and our ensemble learning model, which is the combination of all of these models is known as the strong learner, right? Now let us look into the benefits of ensemble learning over any other model. The first one is its improved accuracy. It combines strengths of multiple models which leads to more accurate predictions. Second is reduced variance. Averaging predictions reduced individual errors and that leads to a stable performance. Third one is reduced bias. Boosting mainly focuses on correcting errors which is leading to less biased predictions. And fourth is enhanced feature representation. So it captures diverse features from different models which is leading 
to a better understanding of the problem. And yes, there are many more other benefits of ensemble learning over any other model. Now let's jump on to our next agenda point and that is types of ensemble learning. So now let us look into that. So there are mainly three types of ensemble learning that is bagging, boosting and stacking. Now let us look into that one by one. So the first one is bagging. This method basically trains multiple models on different subsets of training data and then predicts by combining the predictions of individual models typically through averaging. And the goal of this method is to reduce variance and improve the stability. Random forest and random subspaces are some of the examples of bagging. Now second one is boosting. In this model, it sequentially builds models focusing on correcting previous models errors and predict by combining the predictions of individual models, typically through weighted averaging. And reducing bias and improving accuracy is the goal of this method. ADA boost, XG boost and light BGM are some of the examples of boosting. Now coming to the third one that is stacking. In this method, it trains a meta model to combine the predictions of multiple base models and here the meta model produces the final prediction. Leveraging the strengths of multiple models is the goal of this method. Talking about some examples, we have super learner and blending. Now let's jump on to our next agenda point that is applications of ensemble learning. So if we talk about the applications of ensemble learning, we can see a lot of applications in the field of finance and hospitality. Like we have credit risk assessment and algorithmic trading in the finance field, which helps us with any kind of big financial loss with its higher accuracy predictions. And if we talk about the hospitality service, it will help us in medical diagnosis and drug discovery, which help us to do a proper diagnosis of a patient within a minimum required time. And yes, there are many more other applications of ensemble learning that were there in different fields. And now in conclusion, if I say ensemble learning has become a dominant force in machine learning, boosting accuracy and robustness. By combining multiple models, it tackles complex problems across various domains. So as machine learning evolves, ensemble learning is set to play an even more vital role, unlocking its potential to solve increasing complex problems. So that's all we have for this video. I hope you got a good understanding about ensemble learning, how it actually works and how it can change the future of machine learning. So if you found this video helpful, please share it with your fellow mates and do subscribe to IntelliPet YouTube channel so that you won't miss any updates coming from our site. Thank you all. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers machine learning course in collaboration with IIDM Pravartak. Through this course, you will learn various algorithms and machine learning techniques such as supervised, unsupervised learning, natural language processing and much more from the IIT Madras faculty and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given below in the description. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of machine learning.